Hello, friends. I'm going to be over here for a bit. Welcome to story time. I'm going to take my mask off. The reason why I had it on is because we have a very special guest today that will be coming on later, but it's a surprise, so I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. I am going to do a quick mic check um, to make sure our sound is working, unless somebody's watching right now and can tell me if they can hear me okay, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm going to pull it up on my other phone to make sure people can uh, hear me. Come on. Doo -doo -doo. All right, here Otherwise, we go. I'm gonna pull oh, it up. yep. Okay, we're working. It's good. Okay. Awesome. Well, welcome. You can see I'm in a different space. I'm not in my usual, like, cute little apartment. We're outside. We're enjoying the fresh air. It's a beautiful, cool day. Thank goodness it's not super, super hot and muggy out. Um, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I don't remember which number story time it is, but it's July 15th. It's Wednesday morning. We are feeling super good. Uh, as you know, if you've been with us before, usually our story time is at 1030, but today we decided to do it at 1130. And sorry, we were a little late today. We had to set up and everything. Um, but it was because Helping Services was doing a, an amazing training called All of Us, and it's all about learning about our biases and learning how we can make Helping Services a more inclusive space for our employees and the people that we work with. And so that's why we're running a little late today. <laughs> so it's for a good reason. Um, if you haven't been with us before, my name is Maddie. I use they, them pronouns. And this over here, their lamp is on. This is my buddy River, the rabbit. And they also use they, them pronouns. And they help me organize and plan all the story times that we do together. And just some reminders, today is tax day. So if you haven't filed your federal taxes, don't forget to do it. Today's the last day you can do it. They extended it. But just a reminder, sorry, I don't mean to stress you out, but I just thought it was something important to say. <laughs> uh, also, today is National Give Something Away Day, so much more exciting than Tax Day, right? And so for National Give Something Away Day, you can do some things like buy a meal or a drink for another person. A safe way we can do this during COVID is, you know, sometimes when you're in the drive through and you're buying your food and maybe, maybe you got some extra money or you want to make the person who's driving behind you, you want to make their day. Maybe you can pay for their meal or their drink or whatever and it really can go a long way. Some other things you can do is donate clothing to a thrift store. I'm pretty sure Goodwill and the Depot are open at least for drop off now so you can drop off some clothes there. And or you can give some flowers away. There's lots of flower stores around or you can pick some flowers and give them to somebody that you live with. Um, and there's just so many good things about Give Something Away Day. It's, it brightens someone's day. You can like feel the sense of lightness from having less stuff because the more clutter we have, the more stressed we are. And I think we could all use a little less stress in our lives like all the time. So, and like I said, I'm like super excited that we're in this new space because we have a super special guest today. And I'm not going to reveal who she is yet until she comes on. But we were wearing our masks before when we were setting up because we were going to be within six feet of each other. But now since we're outside and she's sitting across away from me right now and when she comes on, she'll be six feet away from me. We have our little tape measure just to make sure. And so then we'll be able to have our masks off safely. So it's just really important to remember if you're going to be within six feet of someone to make sure you wear a mask and then children under two aren't necessarily required to wear a mask because they might just be fussing with it the whole time and touching their face and that's kind of defeats the whole purpose. So with that, I think before I have my special guest join me, I'm going to quickly go over our schedule because there's some slight changes that I want everybody to be aware of. So. Like I said, I'll have my special guest come on, and then I think we will do some wiggles together and do some deep breaths together to get everything all good to go. Um, and then we'll read a book, and my special guest brought a very special book for us today that we'll be reading together in English and Spanish. And then after that book, we are going to sing a song together, and then depending on where we are at with time, I know we start a little later, so maybe I'll go till at least 12.05. Um, but we might read a second book, um, and then as always we have announcements and 
uh, River special messages that they bring us every week, which includes a special special message and an activity idea for the week, which may or may not be related to uh, National Give Something Away Day. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I never know what River has planned. So, my special guest, would you like to join me to get the wiggles out for our first um, <laughs> before our first book? Welcome, everybody. This is my beautiful coworker Hello. Lillian. Hola. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie, for having me here. The Lillian. To have me and uh, you want to put on story. your mic? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you couldn't hear Lillian. Lillian said, "Hola." <laughs> it's all good. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I am very happy that you gave me the opportunity to be here with you at the Storyteller. Yes. It's kind of excited. Yes. I like to share some things with you. For sure. And so Lillian is one of our bilingual family educators at the Helping Services Family Ed Program. And she's amazing. She serves so many families and provides so many amazing services. And she's just, I'm so happy that you're here too, Lillian. Thank you. Because I'm sure y'all were like, okay, Maddie's boring. We need some special guests to make story time more interesting. So here we go. Lillian's about to rock the house with the awesome book that she brought and a song that we're going to sing together that's in Spanish. So... Are you ready to get the wiggles out? Sure. <laughs> all right, so we're going to be careful because we're like connected to some mic wires here. But to get all the wiggles out, um, we'll start from our, we're going to start from our toes up to our head. But this will just help us get all nice and ready and get everything all out before we kind of relax and sit still if we need to for our book. Okay, are you ready? River, are you ready? And I get to ask Lillian, are you ready? I am. Oh, awesome. OK, start with your toes. If you have your socks on, you can start with your toes. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle those feet. Wiggle your legs. Lillian and I are getting our ab workout through this. So we're trying to breathe. Wiggle those legs. OK, wiggle those hips. Oh, this kind of hurts on this hard ground. <laughs> wiggle your torso. Can you wiggle your torso? Yeah, wiggle those shoulders. Wiggle those arms. Do something cool. Yeah, Lillian, go. Ooh, yes, ooh. Wiggle those hands. Wiggle those fingers. All right, wiggle your neck. I have to do this slowly so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> wiggle it. Ooh, feels ooh. good. Yeah, it feels, this is my favorite part. And then wiggle your head. Make your hair go crazy. Wiggle your mouth. Wiggle your nose. Wiggle your <laughs> eyes. Can you go cross-eyed? Up, down, side to side. Wiggle your eyebrows. Can you see my eyebrows? <laughs> and the last one, wiggle your ears. I can never wiggle my ears. I have to, I don't <laughs> either. Lily and I have to do it manually. <laughs> Wiggle your ears. Okay, and then we have to wiggle everything at once as fast as you can. How many body, part, body parts can, can you wiggle at a time? Five more seconds. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, and done. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm yelling to the microphone. I'm going to try to keep it calm, but oh my goodness. Okay, so maybe your heart rate's up a little bit. Maybe your heart's thumping like Ooh. mine. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Me too. That's what I say every time, Lillian. Whew. So, now that we got all the wiggles out, if you need to wiggle a little, little bit more, do what you got to do. Um, we're going to take two deep breaths together. So, we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Are you ready? Here we go. In through the nose. Inhale. Fill that tummy. Fill that tummy. And exhale through the mouth. All right, and then this next breath we're going to take, when you inhale through the nose, I want you to reach as high as you can for the sky, okay? Are you ready? Take another inhale through the nose and reach, 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 reach. Can you reach higher? Can you suck in a little bit more air? And exhale it all out. Maybe a wiggle at the bottom. Whew. All right, I feel really good. I feel relaxed now. Relaxed, ready to go. Hopefully everybody feels that way. We're ready to read our first book. So the book that Lillian brought and is going to share with us today is called We Are a Rainbow. Or what's the title in Spanish, Lillian? Somos un arco iris. Mm -hmm. So since we have one copy of this book, we're thinking what we'll do 
is I can read it in Spanish and mm -hmm. show you some of the pictures, and then I'll hand it over to Lillian, and she'll, I mean, <laughs> I just misspoke. That's there we okay. go. I'll read it in English, because that's what I speak. I speak a tiny bit of Spanish, but I'm definitely not as good as Lillian. Lillian is amazing at Spanish. So I'll read it in English first, and then I will pass it over to Lillian, and she will read it in Spanish. I said that right, right? Sounds, okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. So what I might do um, is just get a little closer, and you can do this too, Lillian, when you read the book. Okay. But I'll keep my distance from Lillian, and I'll just make sure I can show everybody the pictures in the book. So give me one second. We got some wires to deal with here, and I'm like scooting on my butt. <laughs> All right. We are a rainbow by Nancy Maria Grande Tabor. And you get to see Lillian in the background smiling. <laughs> we are moving to a new country. Look, there's a little bus. New places, new faces. So many new and different things. Where I come from, there is a rabbit in the moon. Do you see it? Look, it's like River, River the Rabbit. Here, there is a man in the moon. Do you see the man or the face? Sometimes you can't tell what gender it is by the face. There, the ocean is nice and warm. Mm. Look, a bird. Here, the ocean is nice and cool with a seagull. I'm very scared of seagulls. <laughs> there, the leaves of the palm tree swayed next to my pink adobe house. Ooh, a pink house. That's cute. Here, the oak branches wave next to my blue wooden house. Hmm, look at these different places. There we give handshakes, hugs, and kisses to everyone. Look at that. We got a handshake, a hug, and this one looks like kisses. Hmm, different greetings. Here, handshakes are for new people and hugs and kisses for, for very special ones. Oh, so do you see the difference? Here, the handshakes, hugs, and kisses were for everybody, whether they were strangers or close people. And here, the handshakes are for new people and the hugs and kisses are for very special people. Oh, I need to get closer. Okay. There, I would eat tortillas for breakfast. Mmm. Do you like tortillas? Have you ever eaten them for breakfast? Hmm. Here, people have them for dinner. Mm-hmm. That's when I would usually have them. To you, I may seem different. But to me, you seem different, too. <gasps> Look at that. These two look different, and so do these two. I try hard to understand what you say. Oh, look at this. I know this one. I know very little Spanish, but I know this one. You see the balloons? This one says, happy birthday, and this one says, feliz cumpleaños. Cumplea cumplea <laughs> Lillian's giving me the nod over there, so I think I got it right. <laughs> you try to understand me, too. And here's two balloons. One says smile, and the other one says sonri. Sonrie. Sonrie. Lillian will say it too when she reads the book. When we do not understand each other, we feel bad, we fight, we hurt, we cry. Does that ever happen? When we don't understand each other, we fight and we hurt each other? I've seen it happen a lot with adults too. We separate. We stop trying to find a way to be together. Oof. This book is really relatable, y'all, to everybody. Oh, I don't like when people are sad and fighting. Apart, alone, please stop and think. Are we as different as we think? <gasps> Probably not. 
I say soul, you say son. But no matter how we say it, it is the same one. <gasps> soul is son in Spanish. Look at that sun, isn't it beautiful? And look, I got a sun on my arm. <gasps> wow. We all like to run and play. We all like to dance and sing. We really are so much the same, and it is much more fun to be together, to share, to care, to smile, and to laugh. Look at all that. Our tears and our smiles are like the rain and the sun. They help our friendships to grow. And friendships are like rainbows. They shine for everyone. Oh my goodness! The end of the English version. That was so amazing! All right, now I'm gonna set it aside and scoot a little ways so Lillian can read it in the Spanish version. Take it away, Lillian. Hello. We are a rainbow. Somos un arco iris. Nos vamos a otro país. Lugares nuevos, carros nuevos. Vamos a cosas nuevas y diferentes. ¿De dónde vengo? Sé que es en un conejo. Es, se ve un conejo en la luna. ¿Lo ves? Un conejo. Aquí se ve un hombre en una luna. Si tú lo puedes notar aquí. Allá el mar es agradable y frío, tibio. Aquí es el mar es grande y fresco. Allá se movieron los, las hojas de las palmeras que estaban junto a mi casa rodeada de adobe. Aquí se mueven los ramos del roble que está junto a mi casa, azul de madera. Allá damos apretones de manos, abrazos y besos a todo el mundo. Aquí los aprendemos de manos son para la gente desconocida y los abrazos y besos son para las personas muy especiales. Allá comerá la tortilla para el desayuno. Aquí la gente la come para la cena. Aquí a ti quizás yo te parezco diferente, pero tú también me pareces diferente. Yo me esfuerzo para entender lo que tú dices. Tú también tratas de entenderme. Cuando no nos entendemos, nos sentimos mal, nos peleamos, nos lastimamos o lloramos. Nos separamos, dejamos de buscar una manera de estar juntos. Separados solos, por favor, detente y piensa. Somos tan diferentes de cómo pensamos. Yo digo sol y tú dices san. Lo importante como lo, lo llamemos es el mismo. A todos nos gusta correr y jugar. A todos nos gusta bailar y comer. Debemos tener mucho de en común y es mucho más divertido estar juntos para compartir, para querer, para sonreír y para reír. Nuestras lágrimas y sonrisas son como la lluvia y el sol. Nos ayudan a cultivar las amistades. Y por último, las amistades son como un arco iris. Brillan para todo el mundo. Yay! Oh my gosh, Lynn, that was beautiful. Spanish is just so pretty. All right, so time is flying by. We only have about 10 minutes left. Sometimes we go over, and that's okay. 
Um, but next, we have a very special song that Lillian taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And that she's going to share with us. And Lillian plays guitar. So we're going to have a whole little music jam here. It's called De Colores. Yes. And maybe should we talk about the meaning of the song before or after? Oh, you can probably explain them a little bit about okay. how, what it means. Yeah. Mean? So just to kind of talk about the English translation a little bit. De Colores means colorful. And so in the verses that we're talking about, De Colores, you know, it starts out saying, colorful are the fields in the springtime and the birds that come from outside. I'll maybe try to do some movements so I can let you know, try to let you know what thing we're talking about. Um, and then it kind of moves on to talk about all the things that are many colors. I, it's what I like, all the, all the many colors. It kind of relates to our book, like we're a rainbow, we're all together, we're yeah. more similar than we are different, and we can, we can all get along with each other. And then, we'll, and then for the second portion of the song, it goes into verses talking about singing the rooster and the sounds that the rooster makes, and the hen and the sound that the hen makes, and little chicks and the sounds that the chicks make. Um, and then again, just kind of wrapping up and saying, these are all the colors, the colorful things around me, and I love them all. And yeah, did I kind of get it? Yes, <laughs> and I just wanted to say that Hispanic culture are rich, full of traditions and strong relationships. And our culture includes living uh, sons, living sons, delicious food, and a strong religious beliefs mm. and the Spanish language. So. I'd like to share this with you and hope you enjoy it. And if you want to dance, that too. Yes, you can dance <laughs> and move your body however you want. I'll try to do some dancing too. So, awesome. De colores, de colores se viste en los campos en la primavera. De colores. De colores son los pajaritos que vienen de fuera. De colores, de colores es el arco iris que vemos lucir. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con su kiriki, kiriki, kiriki. La gallina, la gallina con su caraca, caraca, caraca. Los polluelos, los polluelos con el pío, 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 pío. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Oh my goodness! Oh. Y'all, I'm loving this song. That was so amazing. Thank you so much, Lillian, for You're just welcome. bringing your energy and yourself to this space. It was like... Thank you for having me again. <gasps> it warms my heart. You have to come on again. I hope it's not the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be, I promise. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, y'all, it's already noon. I know I started at, we started at like 11.35, so we're gonna just go five minutes over because we have some very important things to do to end our story time. Um, I don't know if I had any announcements. Uh, make sure you check out helpingservices.org. We have lots of other videos on there. Lillian has a few activity videos um, from Family Education. We all have some activity videos there. And of course, you can find all the other past story times on there, also on our YouTube page. And make sure you're following us on Facebook so you can get notified whenever we go live. Um, I'm pretty sure Iowa Safe Schools is still doing Drag Queen story times on Tuesdays. You can find that on their Facebook or Instagram. Trying to think what else. Follow your local library, Decor Public Library, Walk On Library. They're still doing great stuff. Um, yeah, keep reading. Keep reading those books. So, 
It's time for the momentous event of Rivers Special Messages. I don't know if you can see this very well. River drew this themselves, so um, it's pretty amazing. If you can give me a drum roll, please, for the special message of the week. I know it's backwards. I'll bring it up. Ow, my ankle. Okay, it says, you are amazing. You are amazing, Lillian. Thank you. you too. <laughs> Thank you. In different you. ways. <laughs> we all are amazing in our own ways, right? And that's kind of like our book that we were reading today and all the, and the song too. We're all amazing in our own ways. And I love that about all of you and all of us. We're amazing in our own ways, but we can still love and work together and have fun together and sing songs together. And that's amazing. All right. Now I bring out my special slip of paper that River wrote the activity idea for the week. And so sometimes, just about every time, River's pretty spot on. They relate it to the um, day it is. So like I said at the beginning, it's National Give Something Away Day. And so River might have an activity about that. Are you ready? Drum roll, activity of the week. Yep, River said to give something away. So some of the ways I talked about doing that is maybe buying somebody a meal or a drink. <coughs> like if you're in the drive-thru or something, staying socially distant with your mask on. You can pay for the person's food behind you or something like that. Or, you know, leave a big tip when you're getting food from restaurants if you can. Or giving someone flowers that you live with or donating some items because the less clutter we have, the less stressed we are, and the better it feels to make somebody else's day that can make great use of that item that you aren't gonna use anymore. So, awesome, great idea, River. We're so happy that you did that. Otherwise, I think that's it for the day. Thank you again, Lillian, so much for being You're here. Welcome. I hope we can have you, you on. Anybody else that wants to be on Storytime, I'm happy to have you. <laughs> we would love to keep it interesting, bring new people and new things to learn about and embrace. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day and stay safe, keep washing those hands, keep wearing those masks. Lillian and I are gonna put our masks on now that we're gonna be yep. tearing down story time. So we're here in this together. Yes, we can do Estamos this. Estamos juntos con esto. Sí. Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, goodness. How do I end it? There we go.